Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make authentic German schnitzel. My grandmother is a full-blooded German, so I grew up eating all sorts of different authentic German foods. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pork schnitzel, not to be confused with a Wiener schnitzel, which is made with veal. You can use the same recipe with veal, but today we are using boneless pork chops. Lay your pork between two pieces of plastic wrap and then use a meat mallet to pound it out until it's about a quarter inch thick. This recipe makes four schnitzels, so once they're all pounded out, then you want to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper and make sure you do both sides. Once your pork is all seasoned, it's time to set up our dipping stations. Schnitzel is covered in this amazing crusty breading shell that's super easy to make and it's also super delicious. You'll need three shallow dishes and I like to use pie plates. In the first one, you'll add in about a cup of all-purpose flour. In the second one, you'll whisk together two eggs and one tablespoon of lemon juice and that is my secret ingredient to a good schnitzel. And in the third one, add in a cup of plain breadcrumbs. Now, before we bread our schnitzel, we'll want to get our frying pan ready. Pour about a quarter inch of vegetable oil into a large, heavy skillet and get it heating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're ready to start dredging our pork. Start in the flour and make sure it gets a nice coating. Then it goes into the egg mixture and get coated in that as well. And then last, the breadcrumb mixture. Then we're going to take these on over to the stove and fry them up. You want to fry them for about three to four minutes per side. The pork needs to be cooked to an internal minimum temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a meat thermometer to ensure 100% accuracy. After three to four minutes, give it a gentle flip and fry it on the other side for another three minutes. Now, you don't want to overcrowd the pan, which is why I work in batches of two. Once the pork is all the way cooked through, you are ready to eat. Serve it up hot with some lemon slices and a little bit of freshly chopped parsley. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.